Knitting with beads is a fun way to add a little bit of sparkle to your next project. It's a wonderful embellishment technique to use along, say, the cuff of a sleeve on a sweater or the brim of a hat, and it's especially great on the borders of lace shawls. Not only do the beads help to highlight all the detail and intricate lace patterning, but the beads themselves help to actually weigh down your shawl, which helps to keep it laying smooth and flat. Here at Knit Picks, we have a couple of different sizes for our seed beads. They're available in six and eight aught seed bead sizes. The six is the larger size and the eight is actually the smaller size. And we have them available in a range of colors and you'll find them in everything from a clear rainbow color to a clear with a silver lining. And then we also have them available in some great colors such as gold, blue, and then red all of which have a silver lining as well. And then finally, you'll also find there's a really beautiful dark rainbow, which is almost like an oil slick colorway. Now for these seed beads, there's a couple different ways that you can use them to work them into your knitting. There's one method where you string them all onto your yarn before you begin and then work them in as you go. And then the second way is to use a crochet hook and then you work them into your stitches as you go. So in this video, we're going to go over the crochet hook method. Now for this method, you will need very small crochet hooks like these here. These are two examples of the small crochet hooks. One is a 0.75 millimeter, the other one is a 1.3 millimeter crochet hook. Now you'll need these to go down in such a small size because you'll actually be going through the beads themselves. So you need to be able to fit the crochet hook through the bead in order to grab your yarn and pull it through. Now the if you're using the smaller, the 8 C beads, you'll want to use a 0.75 millimeter crochet hook. If you have anything larger than that, it's going to actually not fit through the seed bead itself. And if you're working with the larger 6 aught seed beads, you'll want to use a 1.3 millimeter crochet hook. You can go smaller than that, so the 0.75 will work fine on the larger size beads, but you don't want to get a crochet hook any larger than around 1.3 millimeters. So, Let's start incorporating some beads into our knitting using the crochet hook method. So you can see I've started incorporating my beads into my knitting and I'm working them on every right side row, kind of staggering them a little bit. So you'll need your very small crochet hook here. And again, the crochet hook size I'm using is 1.3 millimeters. And then you'll just want your beads that you're planning on using too. So the first step is to simply work to where the pattern says to incorporate a bead or if you're just making a pattern up, making up your own design, which is really fun to do with beads. Just get to the spot where you want to add a bead. So you can see here, I want to add in a bead on this stitch. The very first step is take your small crochet hook and place a bead onto it. Now this is the important part why you need a crochet hook that's so small because you'll need to actually place the crochet hook through the bead itself. And again I'm using the larger size seed beads, the size 6 aught seed beads. And then you're going to take your crochet hook and slide that stitch onto the crochet hook. The next step is a little bit tricky and you'll have to practice this to kind of get a feel for what you're doing. You want to essentially pull this yarn, this one stitch, through the bead here. So I'm going to hold on tight and then push the bead through and over 
So you can see I've pushed the bead over the yarn and then what you're going to do is simply place that stitch back on your left hand needle. Just going to slide it onto the needle, remove the crochet hook, and then you're going to work that next stitch. In this case I'm going to knit it since I'm just working simple stockinette stitch. And that's how you incorporate beads into your knitting. So again, I'm just going to work a few stitches so I get to the next stitch where I want to place my bead. We can go through the steps one more time. So here I want to add in another bead onto this stitch. So I'm going to take my crochet hook, place a bead onto it, then I'm going to take the stitch off the left hand needle, place it onto the crochet hook, and then again, the easiest thing for me anyway I found is I just kind of let my needles dangle behind here. Then I pinch my stitch and then simply slide the bead over the crochet hook to get the yarn through. And just place that stitch back onto your left hand needle and work as you would. Just don't forget you'll still need to work your beaded stitch. So beading with the crochet hook is as simple as that. It lets you add in really nice details of the beading. You can create all sorts of motifs and shapes, giving kind of an added to dimension to something simple like stockinette stitch. You can, you know, make a shape, make hearts, make stars, add in lined patterning with the beads. So it's a really nice way of dressing up a simple pattern just by incorporating a few beads.